Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Mock the Mock, where we take a look at someone else's mock draft. And I'm Mock and giving you my views, thoughts, and opinions. We got a special one today as we look at Oliver Hodgkinson from Pro Football Network. Both him and Ian Cummins, they do very good work over there at Pro Football Network. Follow him on Twitter and uh Mr. Oliver here actually gave us a special one because it's a seven rounder. We're not gonna look at all the picks. I'm gonna kind of go like just kind of like scroll through and see what type of prospects he has up there. But I suggest go look at it for yourself. By the way, what's crack a lacking? It's your boy Bro Schmo. Just in case you did not know, so go ahead, become a bro and subscribe. Leave this video a thumbs up. Enjoy the content as always. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let's have that nice, beautiful football discourse we will be doing a watch along this weekend penn state versus michigan how can i forget that uh that's probably the bigger team there michigan but uh anyway this draft order is based off the order that they have in the pro football network simulator so you could try it out for free by the way uh just check out pro football network or type it in google let's go ahead Take a look at it as we got the Houston Texans going number one, and they go with CJ Stroud. Literally don't need to talk too much about this one. Got an ideal size, NFL arm. CJ Stroud for a lot of people is going to be QP1. And if you're the Texans picking first overall, go ahead, get your franchise quarterback because you do not have one currently. Um, you got Davis Mills, who might be a high-end backup. The Chicago Bears are going Paris Johnson. So he's got Chicago here at number two. I feel like this might be a prime trade spot, trade down spot. Then again, how much do you want to really trade down with guys like uh, Jalen Carter and um, Will Anderson on the board here? But I mean, if, you, if you're going, hey, we're going to take Paris Johnson regardless, which I think he's going to end up as a top 10 tackle. It's like, I don't know, man. I feel like you can still trade down manage to get Paris Johnson, which would be good for the Bears. Uh, I mean, honestly, Braxton Jones hasn't played that bad of football. I, th I think he's been pretty solid for being a rookie. And uh, Larry Borum seems to be the right tackle going forward. If anything, you need guys on the interior. But uh, I digress. If I'm Chicago, I'm probably trading this pick. But, I mean, if you're doing a seven-rounder, you do not want to do trades. That would just suck. The Seals, Seattle Seahawks are going Will Anderson. Whoa, find themselves in a conundrum on the clock. Uh, number three with one of the consensus top quarterbacks available. Uh, blah, blah, blah. While Geno Smith has surprised and be efficient after winning the starting job from Drew Locke. He is far from the long-term answer, yet there is also players who for many is comfortably the best player in the entire class. Okay, this is interesting. So if the Seahawks do decide not to go quarterback, you got to ask yourself, oh my gosh, Pro Football Network, your your ads are killing me, man. It, 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 this is interesting because if you're the Seahawks, man, like going into this and being like, okay, maybe we don't take the top quarter, one of the top quarterbacks here. We're managed to get like we ma number three. We're still looking at one of the top two, because like with your next pick, are you gonna then go quarterback? Are you gonna invest in one of these maybe more longer term projects? I don't know. We'll see. But uh, pass defense is a big need for the Seahawks. Pass rush happens to be one of those needs. Jalen Carter going to the Jets. Jets, if they're in the top five, let alone the top ten. Uh, you got to believe that Joe Douglas and Robert Sala would love to stick to the trenches. So here they go. Jalen Carter will probably arguably be one of the best uh, non-quarterback prospects in this class. And then you got Bryce Young going to Carolina. This is what I mean, man. Possible trade up here. Uh, I really think Carolina is going to end up being the team with the first pick overall. Uh, just recently fired uh, Matt Rule. And it's like quarter quarterback's kind of a no-brainer. Uh, there might be some Matt Corral truthers out there, which is fine. But, I mean, he was a third-round pick. Uh, you get a shot at one of the top two quarterbacks in a much better quarterback class. I think you take it. So, yeah, Bryce Young, not much to argue here. We got BJ Ojalari going to the Seahawks. I freaking love this. Listen, I don't think BJ is going to be a um, top 10 pick, but he has had a hell of a season thus far. Had to miss a few games. Uh forgot why uh they're injury related but he's the brother of zizo jolari i think he's going to be a better prospect pass rush is a big need for the falcons i love this pick at six 
not so much, but still. Oh my gosh. All right, the commanders go Keely Ringo. I did this in my mock. Uh, I, I, I mean, I just, I like it. They, they need more talent in the secondary. They just don't have it there right now. And I'm pretty sure that they're probably going to bring in a coach that's going to want to do a more man-heavy coverage uh, for the most part, opposed to what they got now in Jack Del Rio. So I like Keely Ringo. I think he's, uh, in terms of his athleticism and his... Uh, what he brings to the table physically, he's probably the top corner. Uh, Steelers go Olu Fashanyu out of Penn State. He is the second tackle off the board here. Uh, I, this doesn't really help the run game because Fashanyu is still a work in progress when it comes to his run blocking. But like as a pass protector, man, the dude is very good. I do like the idea of replacing whether it's um, a core four or uh dan moore I, I think either of those tackles just replace them it's fine strive strive for better if you're this if you're the steelers but uh sean you honestly i could end up being the top tackle in this class the guy's got that much upside look at this six six three oh eight oh will levis go on the detroit lions he's the third quarterback off the board it's going to be highly contested who Quarterback three is the most popular one currently is Will Levis Detroit. Don't kid yourself. Get off that Jared Goff uh, contract and that predicament you have yourself in. Don't get stuck with a middling quarterback. Uh, he's not even as good as Kirk Cousins. And you see what that's done for the Vikings. They're four and one. Yeah, but man, do you really think they're going anywhere with Kirk Cousins? Try for better. Uh, Goff gets frees you up 21 million if you cut him after the season. And you could use that to help uh, get something on your defense. Patriots going Noah Sewell's interest. And I get it. Guys are going to love the uh, athleticism of Sewell at 6'3". Was he like 253? Something like that. Because uh, he comes in like a freight train. Problem is missed tackles. Um, lack of a co any co type of coverage prowess are the big question marks when it comes to Noah Sewell. So I kind of have him as a fringe first more of a top 50 player new york giants is this i believe this is the first receiver they go kishan abute another after the catch target i think it'd be nice to maybe go uh go with like maybe a quinn um johnston who is now you, you get this big vertical threat big contested catch guy or get some legit speed that can separate uh over the top in jordan addison uh i don't mind the position pick here just Boutte, like I love Boutte, dude. It's just, man, the production's not there, and a lot of that is on Jaden Daniels. And I wish they would make Boutte more of a focal point of the offense. All right, Miles Murphy going to the Eagles. That's it's just a great pick. I love Miles Murphy. He's a top ten prospect for me. The dude is just a physical specimen. Um, like brandon graham he's not long for the future neither is Derek barnett they got sweat he's pretty nice and even like um reddick he's more of this uh not necessarily off ball linebacker but a rush linebacker a guy that you're gonna have uh not lined up necessarily on uh necess necessarily there we go on the defensive line but he's gonna be um out a little further so he's a bit more uh not gimmicky but schematically he's a bit more gimmicky arizona cardinals go cam smith i love uh them going with a corner gotta feel that uh maybe joey porter or christian gonzalez are the next corners on the board but again we're still early in the process cam smith's fantastic so uh i believe this is the right call jacksonville jaguars get my boy gwen and johnston they get that big receiving threat honestly this feels like uh i, I might go addison just because you get a more of this long field separator while well, couldn't johnson's just this throw it up to me i will contest the catch i'm very difficult to bring down after the tackle pro typical x uh i think receiver regardless is kind of the right call for jaguars surround trevor lawrence with as much talent as possible and just honestly just figure out if he's the guy houston texans going brian razi good pick they lack a lot of depth on that um on that front four they lack a lot of talent in general like jerry poor is really the only cat they have there uh grenard's all right but uh he looks like for all its purposes a rotation guy so 
Adding talent on the defensive line, I like it. They go quarterback, they go defensive line. I think that's uh, it's a home run. Then Broderick Jones going here to the Colts. I like the idea of them going quarterback. Really like the idea of Tanner uh, McKee. You also have guys like uh, DJ uh, Uyunglele. And uh, uh, obviously you can make a case for uh, Anthony Richardson because he's, he's just special. To, it, <coughs> well, excuse me. In terms of uh, uh, what he brings physically and athletically to the position. But Broderick Jones, I think there's a good argument to be made. He is among one of the top tackles in this class. He has just been steady for Georgia. And the Las Vegas Raiders go with Antonio Johnson. Uh, I get it, man. Like, Jonathan Abram ain't all that great. Uh, I feel like you go for a more valuable position than safety, as it's been shown recently. That you could, like the Cowboys are a perfect example of this. You go into free agency and find quality safety play at a uh, low, like a budget, budget value. You know, like uh, with Malik Hooker, uh, was it um, Curse as well? So there's that. Even the Raiders, they brought in Dur uh, Duran Harmon. So. So uh, I just think there's more value to be had at this pick, but I do love Antonio Johnson. Seattle Seahawks, they go Hendon Hooker. Uh, I've told you why I don't see Hendon Hooker as a first-round prospect, and a lot of that has to do with his age and in terms of uh, what he can do to develop isn't high-end as some of the other guys in this class. Typically, what you're seeing is what you get with the 25-year-old. Uh, there's not much they can do to improve upon their like their physical build is their physical build normally again th this isn't the rule this is more so the standard uh, i like i really like hooker more so in the third round but he's having a hell of a year seahawks do need i think should go quarterback especially with uh more so maybe somebody could develop like anthony richardson is kind of mm, i'd be kind of flapping my eyes dj uh Uyunglele. i'm kind of curious because i feel like i'm the highest on him in the draft community so uh. all right we got the tennessee Titans going felix and uzama who actually just had a stellar game this past weekend um and the week before starting to break out but still in that like fringe first round area going to the tennessee titans uh, i don't know what the contract looks like for bud dupree it was a terrible contract to begin with i don't know if they could get out of that right now but uh we've seen how big of a loss is like a guy like from like harold landry it's a huge loss that they're dealing with they don't really have much pass rush outside of like uh jeffrey simmons uh Danico autry so out of that i think it's fine Bengals go isaiah foski and um it's fine it just seems like more depth because you got you got um Sam Hubbard there. You got Trey Hendricks in there. And they got a few decent rotation guys. Didn't play there. And like uh, Zachary Carter. Uh, is it Cameron Sample? Joseph Osai. So it's like you're just adding. I get it, man. If you don't feel like you've hit on any of those guys, then just keep going, hitting the position until you get it right. But uh, I think there might be other areas they could go here. Though I do like the ceiling of Fos uh, Foski. So maybe that's it. Manuel Forbes going to the Vikings. I like the Vikings going corner and Emmanuel Forbes. Man, this cat pa re pairing him up. Reunited and it feels so good. With Cameron Dantzler, dude. Former Mississippi State duo. I kind of like that. That's kind of dope. Um, wait, they played together, right? Or am I thinking of Martin Emerson? Oh, no. I think I am thinking of uh, Emerson. Well, I mean, Dantzler was around when For when Forbes was a freshman. I don't know, man. I don't know. Regardless, uh, I, I do like them addressing the corner position. Keep bringing in talent. Again, until you get the position right, it's a very volatile um, position. Hey, Gojo, I'm not I, I'm not on Kansas City yet. You don't have to come out. Look at him, man. Just chilling. I love Gojo. Uh, Dallas Cowboys go Jordan Addison. So ha hands up if you knew Noah Brown or if you knew who Noah Brown was before the season. I did. He was kind of like wide receiver five. 
Uh, he kind of rotated in and out with Cedric Wilson. Um, when injuries occurred, you know, you, you saw more of Noah Brown. But um, I don't know. I kind of like this because I feel like you're getting kind of a lot. Uh, like it, I guess it depends how you feel about Michael Gallup. Uh, he's been pretty good in his return. Uh, Noah Brown's been all right. You know, Noah Brown's been actually pretty darn good. You got CD Lamb. I don't know, not necessarily like the most needy position on the roster, but like adding a guy that could take it over the top, I kind of like that. All right, Gojo, I'll let you off. Don't be crying at my door though when the Chiefs are up. Bye, buddy. All right, next we got the Detroit Lions next pick, and they go with Brian Branch, a guy that can play, uh, plays primarily in the slot but can play deep. Wonderful athlete, huge Brian Branch fan right here. Freaking love him. I uh, don't mind the pick either. I uh, mean, really, go anywhere on that defense. Whoever's the highest on your board. Los Angeles Chargers at 24 get a steal in Peter Skaronsky. I guess you're playing him at right tackle at this point. You can even play him at left guard uh, with how Matt Flyer uh, feeler has been playing, so... This is exceptional value. I'll just say that. Baltimore Ravens go Jackson Smith and the Jigba. They get a guy who's really good after the catch. Um, hmm. It's interesting. I'll say that. It's interesting. It's great value. It's interesting. All right. The Miami Dolphins take Michael Mayer. I'm not opposed to this. Kasiki's a free agent after the season because he is on the franchise tag. Uh, you get a guy more built into like the george kittle mold so that ain't half bad that ain't half bad i think uh, offensive line is also a good answer Tampa bay buccaneers go clark phillips Ooh, he's a bit different like i don't know if he's built for todd bowles defense then again i mean if because he doesn't bring the scrappiness as a sean murphy button does who's their other corner there along with jameel dean those are it's going to be a cornerback duo that uh, they're gonna have to make a call on like can they even afford either of those guys but uh phillips has been a pick six machine the last couple of weeks four picks the last two weeks two of them going for pick sixes and the pan or uh panthers the packers they go jared verse i like this man i don't know what preston smith's deal looks like because i know that they uh restructured it but uh, you get Verse to be the long-term solution on the outside there next to Rashawn Gary. And I'm a huge Verse guy, so I, I love him going to the first round in general. Kansas City Chiefs get Tyree Wilson. Uh, I got to get back to Wilson, man. I've watched a little. Like, dude's been impressive this year, man. It's just maybe I just got to get over last year's Liberty Bowl game. And it's like, you'd be like, oh, yeah, it's such a great game. Six pressures two sacks and then you look up when he went up against uh charles cross and it was goose eggs i'm just gonna say that uh but wilson man he's definitely got intriguing size the dude has tools he's long he's powerful he's athletic uh needs to needs a bit more um uh development uh when it comes to what he is technically as a pass rusher but I like uh, I like Wilson. I just don't know if I'm on him in the first round just yet. Bijan Robinson going to the Eagles. What a surprise! I'm shocked. Oh my gosh! But it's a good pick, dude. Miles Sanders is a free agent after this year. You won't have to worry about a running back contract for the next four years. Trent si Trenton Simpson going to the Buffalo Bills. Ooh. I mean this 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 replaces uh, Edmonds, so I, I like that. <gasps> Excuse me, this is a guy that is absolutely great out in space. I like that a lot, man. It's going to be interesting to see where these linebackers go. Actually, let's start to look at what we got going off in the second round. So Rasheed Rice, blowing it up at a SMU, dude. I love this dude as a competitor. Apparently, he might, might, might be a bit of a prima donna. Sorry, Gojo, you already missed the Kansas City Chiefs. Zay Flowers, uh, listen, just if you're looking for a guy like Zay Flowers, just go Josh Downs. Um, he's just better. Zay Flowers. <laughs> uh, Osiris, Osiris Torrance going to the Seahawks. They do need help on the interior of that line. Anton Harrison. So the Jets would be nabbing um, their answer at tackle long term, hopefully. Uh, all right, buddy. I'll let you back. Come 
So uh, I think the Chiefs, uh, Chiefs got Tyree Wilson, dude. I bet you you love that, dude. Because I know, I know Gojo, he's a big Chiefs fan. He loves Patrick Mahomes, and he's like, Texas Tech, sign me up, man. We do good when we draft out of Texas Tech. Do you, though? Do you, Gojo? All right. Anywho, uh, Kalijah Kansi coming here for the Panthers. Uh, I just think there's probably better tweener picks out there on the interior. So, and you got, like, Gervin Dexter still on the board. Uh, Jaquilin Roy. Uh, Tully, Toy Peloto. Here, I know you. Here, come, come here, buddy. I know you want to be in. You want to make a. You want to get there all nice and close to the camera. Siaki Ika. So they continue to address the defensive line. I don't mind it. This is good value, in the uh, in the second round. I like that. Let's see what other guys he's got here. Jaron Hall. A uh, kind of rinse and repeat with Hendon Hooker, older prospect in Jaron Hall. Um. But it's just obviously a different skill set. Probably a better passer of the football uh, is Jaron Hall, but he doesn't have the type of uh, arm strength, I would say, nor the size, nor the athletic ability that Hooker has. And that's not a knock on Hall's athletic ability. Like He's pretty good as an athlete, but obviously Hooker's a much different guy uh, when it comes to like what he can do with his build. He's a much different runner of the football. All right, Joey Porter going to the Steelers. This is an absolute steal. I love it. S Steelers need to get that uh, secondary uh, revamped. Henry Toa Toa pairing him up with Malcolm Rodriguez. I like that. Detroit continues to address the defense here. See, the Patriots didn't even notice Christian Gonzalez didn't go in the first round. Uh, he was on Bruce Feldman's freaks list. I love him. I think he's ideal for a press, a, like, press man. And honestly, with the Patriots, you get a little bit more size out there on the outside. Garrett Williams going to the Giants. Uh, Dory Jackson honestly might not be long for the roster, like the future plans. And honestly, uh, straight up, man, you can get better at the cornerback position, add more talent, add more competition. Uh, here's J.L. Skinner, probably one of the best box safety options. So I guess this would be a replacement for the Honey Badger as listed here. Uh, Jamar Gibbs, you get a nice uh, guy that's more than just a change change of pace back uh there i mean james connor's always been concerned with james Con james connor's health uh yeah you got you know benjamin but i mean you can always add to that dude jamar gibbs is good this is a good good running back class here's gervin dexter gervin dexter is a good football player good for you jags uh tyler davis is having one heck of a year as well like sure if that clemson defensive line like they have like two guys that'll be first rounders probably like two or three more guys that could go in day two and like kj henry tyler davis and uh, xavier thomas just returning on six six snaps had four pressures two sacks and a forced fumble cameron ward at washington state i don't believe this guy's gonna come out i still think he, he he's got a bit of a ways in terms of his development um so i there's just other guys i feel safer about that have bigger sample sizes like tanner mckee and um who else here on the board i think anthony richardson's still on the board dj uh, uyangalole maybe oh i uh, let me get the pronunciation down from my boy here so the raiders go with matthew b um someone wrote down the pronunciation for uh for matthew b here let's see if i can find it so burr zeron burr zeron what white out here says it's pronounced as so matt burr zeron he's actually having a really good season uh good for him um Is it in the day two variety? I feel like it's fringe day two, early day three. Uh, I love the Ivan Pace pick here. I'm, I've am i been losing my mind. If you saw a stock report, not this week, but last week and then the week before, this guy's having a hell of a season in a linebacker class that's not all that girthy. Darnell Wright going to Tennessee at a... Well, they put Pittsburgh here, but he, he, he plays at Tennessee. But he's staying home there in Tennessee. He's playing pretty well, and actually he fits the uh, the blocking scheme pretty well there for the Titans. Uh, he's a bigger guy, good athlete. Got 
Darnell Washington. Huge, dude. Like 6'7", 270. Tremendous athlete. That would be an interesting addition for the Bengals. I like that. Josh Downs going to the Vikings. That's pretty good. Uh, essentially a guy that can push KJ Osborne. Um, Josh Downs, I do have hesitancy with how he will play on the outside. This... Um, in the NFL when he has to deal with physicality because he is a smaller guy. Uh, Ladarius Henderson. I haven't really watched him. I'm going to go back and watch the Utah. No, 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 no. Is it? No, 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 no. Who was it? Who'd they play this week? Washington. I'm going to go back and watch the uh, Washington game. Um, I, I've heard a lot of good things about Henderson, though. Uh, Nolan Smith. I'm glad I'm not the only person not that high on Nolan Smith. He's going to the Dolphins here. He's been a very good run stuffer. Obviously, like he's got length and explosiveness. A bit undersized, but you, you teams are going to love the upside. Uh, Andre Carter, a bit of a project, but another guy with tremendous physical tools. Going to the Rams. We got Jaden Reed. I don't know, man. Jaden Reed's been beat up, so I think his draft stock's probably going to be down in, th in day three. Justin Flo, I don't see him coming out. But who knows? Who knows? Uh, we got John Michael Schmitz might be the best center prospect in this class. Just he's 24, but he's just going to be a good football player. So I like that. Get Jake Brendel out of San Fran. Uh, Jalen Daniels. Oh, my gosh. The balls of the wall. Another guy, another quarterback prospect I can't foresee coming out. He's still a bit of a project as a passer and probably remain will be next season just because Kansas. Uh doesn't really run they're a big like read option rpo type of team all right we got brandon joseph brandon joseph he's having an all right season in Notre Dame, but it feels like he's going to be firmly like a top 75 guy uh cedric tillman i like this pick for the chiefs because uh it gives them a um something just vastly different that they don't have on the roster uh obviously they got mvs but this is probably better mvs um, Akai Gardner is a big, uh, big defensive back for LSU that's got a versatility in the secondary. That's probably uh, looks more like a safety than he does a corner. Uh, we got Olusagun uh, Oluwatimi, uh, the, the former Virginia center. He's like he's this essentially he's this power uh, blocking scheme type of center, but he's playing really good football. One of the Bills. We start the third round. We see Sean Tucker, Jaquelin Roy, DJ Turner, all guys I love. Jordan Battle. Uh, Tavion Wicks really hasn't had an ideal year. Here's Jalen Duncan. Uh, I know the draft network's exceptionally high on him. Eli Ricks. Guy needs to play. Like, don't come out in this draft. You have first round potential. You have to play, though. You need production. Mozzie Smith is really good. Guy that was number one on Bruce Feldman's freaks list. Parker Washington, essentially a running back, um, playing receiver. Dude, so good after the catch. Uh, haven't looked at Dennis yet. He's he's on my watch list. Haven't got to him yet, though. Owe Papo, dude. Undersized linebacker that plays bigger than uh, he actually is, dude. Brings in the boom. Uh, should have better coverage skills for the athlete he is, but not a lot of splash plays in coverage. Zach Harrison, high upside. I haven't looked at Balin Trice from Washington yet. Uh, I've been avoiding Washington. No Washington tape just because uh, uh, Zion Toy Pol uh, Zion Toy Poloto, right? I don't know. No Zion Toy Poloto Fetty. There we go. Uh, it hasn't really like. He's had good games here and there, but like nothing like spectacular. Uh, haven't watched Cody Motch, but there he is. Uh, Luke Musgrave kind of starting to establish himself as like the tight end two or three in this class. Watch out. Playing good ball there at Oregon State. Caillou Boo Kelly's having a down year. Byron Young. People love Alabama defensive linemen. Uh, Daywan Jones is playing good football, but he's another guy that's just massive, and you're gonna worry about him as a mover or in terms of his movement skills in the NFL. Such a Van Pran hasn't really taken the next step yet. I love Blake Freeland. Let's be honest, he's probably gonna go around this area just because he's literally Abraham Lucas. 
Derek Hall's had a good year. Drew Sanders has been a banger, but dude's a missed tackle machine. There's Zach Evans. Uh, Carter Warren, I know uh, Ian Cummins is very high on Carter Warren. I say very high, I mean like this type of high. I see him more as an early day three, mid day three guy. Uh, Colby Wooden's been really good, but he's a bit of a tweener. You got Connor Galvin. He ain't too bad out of Baylor. So yeah, you can check out this whole uh, mock draft for yourself. Uh, I haven't checked out this cat, and I've been seeing him pop on some people's radar, so that's a bit interesting. Uh, but yeah, you can go check it out for yourself. Uh, it's a seven rounder. I think after day two, he just starts. Yeah, you see this. He just starts listing guys out. But uh, that's it for the video. Go ahead. Do the YouTube thing as always. Until next time, you be easy, my friends. Later.